The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants. Here we go again. It is fishing time once more. After watching Milan catch that huge snapper last time round, I have to admit to being extremely envious. So this time round, as you say, I have pulled rank or asked Milan extremely nicely if I could have a go at trying to catch a snapper and have him behind my phone for this one. I haven't been for a serious snapper fish in literally years. So NATO is fully jacked. <laughs> we are lucky enough to have Daiwa backing the lateral line and Daiwa not so very long ago brung out their own version of a soft bait lure called the bait junkie. So the boys at Daiwa have set me the task of trying to catch a snapper bait junkie styles. And when you take into account the very fact that casting lures, trying to catch big snapper is my favorite way of going fishing, challenge accepted. We are launching today midday and I will be casting for the Mighty Snapper right until dark. As much as I would absolutely love to catch a big snapper of the same caliber as Milan's one, I will be over the moon to just catch some beautiful eating size snapper fill it them up and then be able to give them to an extremely good friend of mine who is so awesomely kind enough to let me go camping and bow hunting for the very beautiful fallow deer that roam freely around his property. On the water once again and as I said, jacked! We're fully jacked, it's my turn. We were just at the boat ramp where all the muscle barges do their thing and a couple of guys on the muscle barges said they were just here, what do you call it, harvesting mussels and there were huge snapper swimming around the barge. So we're driving right past the snapper farm anyway, well the mussel farm I should call it, I call them snapper farms. So we're gonna have a little flick around here under the Minn Kota. And then from there, we'll move to the spots that I used to fish years and years ago and see if I can do what I used to do years and years ago and catch a snapper. Right, here, here's your contraption for the day. Thanks. <laughs> now, Melan's not the best at filming, so you have to bear with me a little bit, but I am getting better and I am trying and I am learning. So, watch this spot. Melan turned up at my house and I now have my very own tackle bag. I have my own lures my own little soft baits, my own jig heads, my own fishing rod. Whoa! It's all good. You're a fisherman. Yeah. I used to be once upon a time. We are, oh, might be a little bit crooked. Fish down that big row of muscle floats. First cast. First cast, bro. Bait junkie, take one. It was raining on the way up and the forecast said showers, so I went into Repco and brought an umbrella so that Milan could have an umbrella and still be able to film and I could fish. And look at it, it's stunning. <laughs> Is it the monster you were after? Oh, it's not. Milan's first snapper on the boat was like massive. <laughs> so anything less than that, I was gonna get grief right. But I caught one, I just want some food. Is it a whopper? It's a legal fish, bro. It's definitely a legal fish. If you got seven of those, bro, you'll be a happy man. Definitely, definitely be happy with seven of those. Whee! Look how fat the thing is. <laughs> He's been feeding on mussels. Check that out! <laughs> my first snapper on the boat isn't quite the caliber of Milan's, but if you look at my smiling face, does it really matter? <laughs> That's all I wanted, just to get some beautiful snapper to take to Gavin and Demelza to say a massive thank you for being able to come and camp and hunt. 
Well, if that's anything to go by, I might be kingy fishing tomorrow morning. <laughs> I damn well hope so. Why else would you want to do anything else? Hello, Mr. Shag. Where's the big snappers, man? He doesn't want a big snapper, he wants my little snappers, eh? <laughs> the monster snappers. Look at the size of them. Well, like all good spots, you should have been there yesterday. There were a big snapper there, but there ain't big snapper there anymore. So we're just cruising up to a little bit of fowl that we know about. Gonna try there, and then if not, go to some deep water fowl and see if we can catch some snapper there. Nathan just doesn't quite have the mojo I had, but he might find it. Spot number two. Nathan's rigged, ready, and waiting. Tell us the story about what's happening, Nato. Not a lot. All I'm doing is watching my Soft bait sink. Well, the mussel farms only produced one fish, and the shallow water reefs just aren't doing it. So, I reckon with the sun being high in the sky and in the middle of the day, the best thing I can do right now is go out to some deeper reefs, and then as that sun drops away, we will move back into the shallows because that's where I find myself having the most fun. Cool little hammerhead. Woo. Oh, I'd love to catch him on my soft bait rod. Yeah. I reckon if I put a piper fly in front of that little hammerhead, he just might It's all it. rigged up, eh? Hey, keep the noise down, man. <laughs> Why haven't you got that rigged up? You need to be a fisherman. <laughs> Why don't you rig your gear up? <laughs> You're a fisherman, not a cameraman. I'm a cameraman. Are you ready yet? Come on, man, he's waiting. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Can you still see the shark? Yep. He eats it. Shove him. Oh, so close he's coming back round for it? No. He looks at it every time. Maybe he needs that little bit of a popper fly. Here it is, Nathan. Beautiful hammerhead. That's way bigger than the one I was just casting at. Oh, you caught your rod at the back. NATO's not really into fishing at the moment, as you can see. Catches his rods, gets tangles. Look at the big hammerhead right at the front of the boat. This is what he's trying to catch, but this is what he's doing at the back of the boat. This is what a man does when he's trying to fish. If you're a fisherman, you'd be fishing for that hammerhead right there. Look at it go. Such a beautiful creature out the back of the boat. Right there, NATO. Right there. Come on. Oh. No, nah, turn it, quick, cast again. He's at the back of the boat. He's swimming around the boat for you. You just cast, man, don't worry about me. Oh, he's swimming away from the boat. I don't know if we're going to get snapper fishing now because we're going hammerhead fly fishing. Oh, we can't drive past them. Nah. Not without trying. He's coming over for it. He's coming, 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 he's coming. I just went past it. Oh, it's an awesome fish, man. Get a hook in it. Imagine how cool that would be to catch. Oh, nice cast. Oh, it's big. Whoa, that got the heart pumping. Didn't want to pass that up. A little hammerhead on the fly rod would have been awesome. But we'll go back to the original plan. It's deep water reef time. <laughs> Leland's busy rigging up. What are you going to do? Get in live bait and try and catch a Johnny? I'm just rigging up till we're doing something after we've been chasing <laughs> sharks. Didn't expect you to hook up oh, straight away. We just spotlighted ourselves on top of a rock and I thought, oh, I'll just cast up into the current as far as I can and then let the soft bait sink down with the current, come back towards the boat, and it only sunk down very, very little. And I've hooked something. Real good. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Kingfish or big snapper? I don't know, man. I haven't caught a fish like this for a long time. It's got weight. Oh, it's got lots and lots of weight. <laughs> if Mingland was hooked up to this fish right now, I'd be in total panic. It's a good one. <laughs> I'm just pretty relaxed, though, because NATO never lets the big fish go. Hey, don't be like that. He's going straight for the bottom. I think it feels a bit more kingy like. Nah, it's a massive snapper. Oh, I like fighting fish off the front of our boat, me land. Whatever it is, it's got the Sir Tate screaming. Hey, 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 dude, 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 dude. Chill, son, chill. 
You got a big 40 pound trace yeah. on the way. 25. <laughs> oh, have you? Oh, yeah. Why would I run 40 pound for snappers? Pull a 20 pounder up and be done with it, man. <laughs> Took you to the good spot. I'm on food. <laughs> food is 20 I see pounder. It. I see it, Milan. Oh, it's a big snapper. Oh, it's a kingfish. Oh, it's no, no, call it a kingfish. Oh, he's right there for you. Nice rod work there, Nato. Like a ballerina style. <laughs> <laughs> got him. I think I got him. Jigheads gonna fall straight out of him, so be ready for a quick release. Nice well, fish, brother. So far, one snapper and one kingfish. And I think, considering the order is for snapper, that it's this kingy's lucky day because he would be awesome to eat. <laughs> Thank you for not reefing me, Mr. Kingfish. It was much appreciated. Here you go, brother. Nice, snapper brother. <laughs> I might go off spot lock. And Bill, give me another cast. There could be a whole pack of them sitting there. Well, this afternoon is going off. We've got hammerhead swimming all around the boat. And it looks like we've got a pack of kingies around the boat as well, which doesn't help Nathan catch snapper. But I think it's going to be a good afternoon. Wind's dropped right off. It's meant to be raining and it's not. So really, can't complain at all. Milan's got to get ready for filming because Nato's starting to catch. He just caught some more dinner. Let him fall off. I got him. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Hope he tastes as good as he looks. Nice snapper, brother. Lots of bait on the bottom. Got that one. Oh, oh. Lost that one. Oh, that one. That one was better. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Why didn't I hook that one? Got one. Another snap up? <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, I think we're going to get what we need pretty quick, eh? <laughs> I might chuck a real big soft bait on. I think so. See if I can get a big one. Number three. Now remember, all of what I'm about to say comes from someone who hasn't even been soft bait fishing for a couple of years, but all we're doing right now is using the chart plotter. I try and forget about the sounder. I've caught so many fish with the sounder say there's no fish, and I've not caught fish with the sounder saying there's heaps of fish, so I try and ignore that part and use the chart plotter and just fish the structure. And all I'm doing is setting up drifts, watching the drift lines, the heading of the boat, and casting with the wind as far as I can. I cast up on a 45 degree angle, let the loop in the line, get a big belly loop in the line, and when that soft bait hits the surface, the line is running directly above the soft bait. That means that that soft bait's going to sink unrestricted. The line isn't laying on the water and having the soft bait having to drag all the line down. It's swinging really fast and I've caught my best fish when the soft bait is just freely sinking and then from there once you come up kind of tight on the line once it's all the lines all laying in the water all I'm doing is watching the braid from the rod tip to the water and I wind the handle just enough to leave a belly in the line from the water to the rod tip now if my soft bait hits the bottom the belly in the line is going to get really big really quick so it's going to drop out or if something touches my soft bait, the line goes straight, goes tight. When the line goes tight, do your very best, as I always do, and it is hard not to strike. Just wind the handle, wind the line until it's tight. When you're tight, then put a bend in the rod. And that's pretty much it. That's all I do, that's all I've ever done, and I've had a ton of fun and caught my fair share of big snappers. Bigger soft bait. Bigger fish, right? I think so. <laughs> That's what my mate Milan keeps telling me. Big bait, little fish can't eat them. Got him? Got him. Got him. It's the little one, smallest one of the day. Might turn into a real big one. If I left it down there, it probably would at the moment, eh? <laughs> Be upsizing. 
the shallows we go. Kingy time, even NATO likes kingfish. <laughs> you can't not cast a <laughs> stick bait with that around the boat, right? It, it would be wrong. Especially when there's one all rigged up on the boat and you don't even have to do anything. Just pull it out of the rod storage. So the king here just nail that, eh? I hope so. Well, definitely worth a shot. Now we're going to go over to uh, another little boy and have a bit of a drift. See if Nathan can pick up his big snapper. Everything's worth a go. The Coromandel is alive at the moment. I reckon you should cast now. I have to cast at the boy. Do yeah. it, man. Here we go. Nice cast. Oh. If your kingy's on it, they would have seen it. No doubt about it. A little whopper snapper. We like whopper snappers, we like them for dinner. <laughs> you got the biggest soft bait and you're catching littler fish. <laughs> yeah, figure that one out. <laughs> yeah. Wee! He wasted it. Oh, let it go. Little baby one again? Yeah, they're just little suckers. How are you feeling, Nato? Feeling good? Like a snapper champion. It's good to see. Good to <laughs> hear. Such a thing. One solid snapper to finish the day, eh? That's all I ask, man. You don't ask for much, do you? I deliver. <laughs> Sometimes. It's more fun when you don't though. What an incredible afternoon for what was meant to be a rainy afternoon. It was a beautiful, stunning day. Nathan got some nice snapper, got a kingfish, and even had some shots at a hammerhead shark on the fly rod, which was pretty damn cool. We're gonna head in, we need an anchorage for the night, we need to get the tent up, and we need to get ready to get dinner sorted have a good sleep and then we will be up early in the morning first light to come and see if we can smash that big snapper on a bait junkie. Home for the night. What a beautiful home it is. Doesn't get any better than staying on the water when it's this flat. Night time putting up the tent. Could be interesting for NATO. Could be real interesting. Always fun watching NATO put up his tent. <laughs> all they have to do is it. all they have to do is cook dinner and watch NATO put up his tent. Where's my headlight? Um, down there near the steering wheel. It's winter time and it gets dark real fast. It's six o'clock and we're almost pitch black. It's only April. It's not winter. So tonight on Mighty Sojin we are having a risotto, a mushroom broccoli chicken risotto with some chirabata buns. I think Nathan is going to enjoy his dinner tonight. After he caught all this fish today, he deserves a good feed. And I enjoy cooking. Oh, that looks good, Marlon. Told you would like it. <laughs> haven't even had it yet. It looks the part. Yeah, oh, i got a bone in mine. A bone? Oh. Is that good or bad? Only one. Milan caught that crazy looking eel thing. Yeah, yellow eyed mullet. The yellow eyed mullet. That'd be well, good. There is heaps and good heaps John Dory them. bait. A good soft bait size fish, eh? Just put a jig head in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good morning time. Morning is here. 
awesome anchorages. Anchorage. Last night it was beautifully flat and then the barges, the mussel barges, started going past. And holy crap. <laughs> Got woke up real fast. Nothing too out of the ordinary this morning is going to happen. Pack up coffee, breakfast, and then we'll be off. I have like five snapper in the bin from yesterday, I think. I'd like to put another five snapper in the bin, and then it'll be home time. Here comes the next barge tsunami. Good alarm clock, though, to get you out of bed in the morning. <laughs> it was a pretty wild alarm clock, man. It literally threw me off my... Off my ear bed. <laughs> I was not ready for it. Perfect way to start the day. It was awesomely, gloriously flat. We had the most amazing anchorage last night. And then the big barges go past and they are not planing hulls. They just push these big bow waves. And out of nowhere the boat just... And I'm half asleep, fell off the ear bed. <laughs> What a way to wake up. Alrighty, all packed up, ready for an insane morning casting soft baits for Snapper. We are just about to put the hammer down. Yesterday afternoon when I was fishing, the best sign we seen was on that deep water pin. So we're just going to barrel straight back out there. I believe that an outgoing tide in the morning here is the best tide to fish. Milan agrees with me. And that is exactly what we have. And I want another three, four, five fish for the bin. And as always, would love to see something massive. Well, as you can see, there are rain clouds in the hills. Uh, so the rain umbrella that Nathan brought yesterday is going to become very, very handy, I think, today. Don't be so negative. But I think <laughs> with the overcast day and the snapper being around in big numbers at the moment, if Nathan can't catch a big fish today, I think he's going to have to put his rod down and pick up the camera. <laughs> you just put the first cast out, let the games begin. Normally when I fish out here, I don't do a lot of soft baiting. I like putting big baits down because there's a lot of big snapper here. So I thought today, I'd make a dropper rig, stick a big bait down for Nathan, just in case he's a big snapper that wants to feed. So I'm gonna deploy this rig now, and we'll see what it comes up with. Coming up onto the reef. Baits everywhere, fish on the bottom. Come on. Yep, you might have been right about those marks being kingfish. <laughs> Kingies or big snappers? Oh, I'd say a kingy, but I'd like a big snapper. Wanna take me to the cleaners? This reef, we're right on the rock. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it? <laughs> Don't worry about that we're right on the rock and this thing can take line as much as it wants right at the moment? If it goes to legal status, and we don't have any big snappers, might be coming home? It might just be coming home, England. Going down the back. I better bring the bait rod in. My soft bait beat Meatland's dead bait. Live bait next if we know there's kingies here. <laughs> Hook a real big one coming up on this one, then you got two to deal with. The cameraman can't be dealing with fish. <laughs> Cameraman should be fishing. <laughs> You're fishing two rods, man. Uh, I'm glad that I glad that I caught a fish and you didn't. <laughs> you didn't like that. No. <laughs> it's got kingfish all over it, eh? Yeah, it's definitely kingy. Beautiful. That's a legal fish. <laughs> Is it a chili bin fish? I think so. Yeah. We should not? take some food home. Definitely should. Kingfish are great to eat. Oh, beautiful God. tail grab. Yeah! 
<laughs> what an awesome fish to get on soft bait gear. That is very, very cool. And very unlucky for this fish that I haven't caught the snapper that I wanted to catch, so kingfish is on the menu. Still wouldn't mind some snapper fish. Can't catch a snapper, me one. No, you can't. <laughs> Didn't have your life jacket on. <laughs> it's like something doesn't feel right. And it's like, I haven't got my life jacket on. Well, after a hundred or so casts, one kingfish, Milan's dead bait got picked off by a little fish and a live bait never got eaten, we have come into the shallows to fish a little wash rock that back in the day I used to call 10 pound rock because we often pulled 10 pound snappers off it, so hopefully today is no different. That's a good one. That's a better one. <laughs> oh, it's taken a bit this morning to get snapper. But I did it, and it's a reasonably good one. It's going in the thing. <laughs> Got it right off the top of the rock. It's only like a metre and a half deep on top of that rock at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> It's taken a hundred casts this morning, but well worth it when that comes up, right? He is perfect for eating. You put a lot of time into filleting snapper, especially when you compare filleting and kingfish, because you spend five minutes filleting kingfish and you get a truckload of meat, and you spend the same time with snapper and you get a couple of fillets. So if you're going to fillet a snapper, you might as well fillet one like that. Sit on, sit on. Oh. What'd you do with your snapper? You didn't want them anyway, eh? I did! I really <laughs> wanted that one. It just went over the side right when I was about to puma matata him. Just spot locked ourselves. See if there's any more snappers sitting on the reef. Well, that one was right up on top of it. It's got one. You just gotta let your soft bait sink a little bit, bro. I just said to me, man, how deep is it? He's like 25 meters, and I was like, oh, obviously I'm fishing like five meters below the barge. So I just started to let it sink, and then my back! Nano's <laughs> hooked up! <laughs> Don't let this one go. You need to fill the bin, remember? That's a good fish, too. I like the moving around, going from different spot to different spot, because NATO's really good at getting one fish at every spot. But if we go to 20 different spots, then we're going to have 20 different fish. So you might see us at a little few locations from here till the time we go home. Because we're actually making our way home now, because we've got a, a kingfish in the bin, we've got five snapper now. It's pretty good. We're pretty happy. And it looks like it's going to pour down anytime soon. Well, I have had about as much fun as I could have possibly wanted out of a couple of days chasing snapper on the mighty bait junkies. I achieved what I wanted to achieve. The chili bin is looking awesome and I am going to be able to take fish to my very good friends who are letting me on their property with my bow and arrow. So that was the plan, that was the mission and it has been completed, so yeah, stupid happy, it's all good. We've just pulled into a bay, Milan's gonna make the boys lunch, full our bellies, and I think while we're sitting here with the clouds that we've got today, I will set up a couple of time lapses and capture the beauty of this place because it is just stunning. And then we'll get this boat back on the trailer and head ourselves home. I have got a good hour or more 
of filleting to do to get those snappers sorted out, get the boat cleaned up, back in the shed, and then we'll be planning our next mission. Thank you all so very much for watching. We really do appreciate it to everybody who's commenting and liking and subscribing and all that YouTube stuff. It is so awesome. We're loving what we do and long may it continue. Cha cha. See you next time. While I was stuffing around filming time lapses, Milan found the honey hole, lost a big snapper, landed a couple more for the chili bin, and he also put that in the live bait tank to show me. <laughs> it's the biggest trevally I've caught in such a long time. Check what a out. stunning fish. Oh, that is awesome, man. His face is a bit beat up, eh? So what are you going to do with him? Are you going to let him go or what? Oh, I'm going to keep him and eat him. He's in good condition. You're going to keep him and eat him? Well, you're going to let him go. That's a huge trevor, man. Okay. <laughs> you're a lucky day, man, because you're going to be sashimi tonight for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good man, me, Lan. <laughs> we got more fish than we could possibly want, right? He would have been yummy, man. He would have been yummy, yes. The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants.